a lot of software out there that helps you with ISMS and uh, your ISO 27001 management system. So I'd like to take a look at one of these in particular. It's called ISMS Online and um, it's a tool that I've used on a number of clients and it is really, really powerful. So this is going to be a bit of a whistle stop tour of this. There's a lot to this application, so let's dive right in. So when you do first sign up to ISMS Online, you're going to be presented with this screen and this screen um, is your welcome screen if you like. And uh, this is at the moment a fresh install, so no work, nothing actually happened with this currently. Um, I want to draw your attention to a couple of key points. Um, one of the things I really like on this, if you're not familiar with ISO 27001, is uh, you have something called ARM, and this is the assured results method. So if you've never implemented 27001, this is a great tool because it takes you through uh, all the things that you need to do from getting started, um, gives you some tips here, a nice little video that will uh, talk you through what you need to do, key actions, and, uh, and even gives you tips as well. And you can see here all the key aspects and all the key things you need to do to establish your 27001 management system. So everything from establishing and implementing it all the way through to um, the Annex A controls um, where you talk about the information security policy. And again, I'm not going to go through each and every single one of these on this video. Uh, I will deep, dig deep into some of these areas uh, at a, on a subsequent videos because I think that will be quite interesting and important for some of you who perhaps haven't done maybe internal audits um, and, uh, and certainly for those who have never done stage one or stage two. Um, so that's the assured results um, uh, area. You also have a virtual coach, which again is uh, is really powerful. Uh, under the virtual coach, you've got all the various different um, aspects of areas that you might want to have some coaching on. So it gives you some really good um, advice about how to implement 27001. Um, what the requirements are so you might want to have a look at ex uh, external and internal issues for instance and you've got a video that will uh, help you through this so it is a um, an end-to-end -end course on how to implement 27001 so no need to go to uh, invest in other training so arm and virtual coach really powerful helpful for those people who have never implemented 27001 before um, but let's take a look at uh, the actual work itself. So when we're, we're looking at these areas, uh, you have recently accessed areas, you have the ISMS itself, and you can look at all the work itself. Um, so if we take a look at, say, the overview, so you can see it's quite attractive to look at as well. It is quite intuitive. You can jump to various different parts of the, the standard. Uh, this is based on ISO 27001 2022. So it's the latest edition of the standard itself. So uh, you'll see that you've got the various different control types and the properties as well as the concepts and operational capabilities uh, all under here as well. So you can look at the standard in different structures in different ways suit your, your particular need and your particular uh, preference. Um, again, if we take a look at the dashboard here, this will allow you to see just how far on you are of implementing the various different controls. And uh, you can, obviously this is a, a really useful tool to be able to present to your, your executive team, for instance. And you can add to this, you can add uh, various different elements and remove them if you're not really particularly interested in maybe the asset inventory because you don't include asset register within this system. Uh, it does have that capability, but you might decide not to have it. Um, you can have security incidents management on here as well. And again, you might track them in a different way. So perhaps you don't track them within the uh, ISMS so you wouldn't particularly want this on your dashboard. So it's, again, highly adaptable and um, flexible to your wants and needs. 
and your preferences. If we have a look at um, my personal favourite view, which is the policies and controls, this is the actual standard itself. This is this gives you everything you need. So you can see here, uh, you've got the requirements, you've got the Annex A controls, the new format, the new structure, A5 down to A8, um, and then additional controls as well. Now again, I'm not going to go through each and every single one of these. That would be... Um, it would lead to just too big a video. So right now, I'm just going to introduce you just to the beginning of this and give you again a sense of what does this look like, um, because it's really just an opportunity to showcase ISMS online, which again, looks very good. It's very simple to use. You've got various different views. You can have a look at Gantt charts. You can look at the statements of applicability here as well, um, or you might want to look at it through the uh, amounts in progress or just as we are now which is just the outline anyone who's familiar with 27001 will be familiar with all of these headings and um, again i'm not going to go through each and every single one but just to give you an example of what it looks like when you dive into any one of the particular controls so here if we take a look at external and internal issues so as i said this is fresh out of the box I haven't done anything with this yet and you can see already that it already has a lot of detail in here for you so if you've never implemented 27001 you're already um, you know two or three steps ahead because you have guidance around this is what you should look to do here's some tips and advice and then under here they've actually given you some wording so if you would rather than sitting there with writer's block you know blank page how does this look how do i structure it what do i say here you are you've got the text right there they've provided you with some a great format and a, a framework for you to be able to go through and say well i just need to update this so summarize here a relevant pithy background eg one paragraph normally what i would do there is i would go to the company website um, and i would take the uh, the section that talks about us page you know about the company when were you in incorporated how long have you been operating um maybe talking about um you know the background why why did the business start and uh, again it says here i love that word a pithy background so you can be as verbose as you wish um or succinct it's totally up to you um, again, organizational purpose, you put this into here, this leads the conversation into your missions and your visions, for instance. And then down here, you have your, your internal issues that you might have and external issues. So if you use PESTL uh, or if you use uh, SWOT analysis, for instance, uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats, you might want to include those in here as well. You can also uh, add to do's. So again, this is one of the real powerful aspects of ISMS Online. It's not all down to you. You can assign tasks to people. So you might say, well, I'm not sure about our legislative uh, requirements or external issues around that. That's more for the compliance officer. So you can assign a to-do. You might say, right, okay, um, you know, please provide details. If I could write. Um, on and then you can assign it to a person it's assigned to me currently because I'm the only user in this um, when do you want it you can add further notes if you wish um, uh, anti money laundering legislation for instance um, And you can add any narrative you wish and then you create your to-do list put the date in there as i've said and sit back and wait for the person to to respond you can add documents you can have discussions within this so you can debate various different aspects um if there are any tools that you need to, to add in here as well maybe you're using um, an external compliance tool to track compliance legislation for instance obviously more relevant when you're talking about um uh, 
antivirus and malware protection, you might list here the kind of tools that you would use to, to manage that particular uh, control. And over here, you can assign this to whoever you need to assign this to. Um, when do you want to start this? Number of days, how long is it going to take? And what progress? And again, this allows you then to say, well, I haven't really done anything yet, so we're about 20% on. Um, and you can assign it to me. You can save this and um, and then move on to the next. So now we're going to just purely look at interested parties. The great thing about this tool is that it follows the structure of ISO 27001. So auditors love it because what it allows them to do is be able to um, just work methodically through the through the standard so that they know what you've actually done and where you are. Um, there are you know, a lot of really powerful tools within this. Um, one of them, and I'm just going to touch on this because I'm not going to go through each and every single one of these tracks. It would just take too long in this video. Um, but for instance, the real power of 27001, of course, is the ability to manage your security risks. And this uh, software has its very own uh, risk and treatments register. Um, and again, if you're looking at this thinking, well, I'm not really sure about risk management, I don't know what to do, you can either import one that you've already uh, had previously, or you can just click on get started with your risk bank. So even if you're not sure about what kind of risk you need to be considering, well, here is a whole bank of the kinds of risks that you need to be um, uh, conscious of and to be looking to um, to mitigate or perhaps manage. So software failure due to or allowed through inadequate systems acquisition, development and maintenance, general IT hardware failures and breaches due to or allowed through hardware that is all poorly maintained. So you might say, you know what, that's, that's actually a risk. We need to add that. So you can add this risk um, into the risk register and you can just work through these um, uh, all these risks here and um, as you see there now I've added that you can see you can actually go and take a look at what that risk is which we will do right now so there is the uh, the risk suggested controls which you should be looking to put in place where you say well actually um, you're right actually we do have a business continuity plan we have documented operating procedures. We have uh, information security for uh, using the cloud, for instance. Obviously, we have equipment maintenance and supporting utilities, and we provide this. Um, so all of the controls that you might say are applicable in this particular situation, we'll create the links to those. So again, not only are you adding the uh, the risks to the risk register and allowing you to uh, to decide on what the impact is. It also links back to the statements of applicability and the various different controls. Very important and also something that is quite often missed. And with that, I'm going to leave it there. I think I've given you more than enough of a taster of what the um, the system is, how it works, and I would just welcome your thoughts around ISMS online, but also just on ISM, uh, ISMS uh, software, 27001 software tools that you've come across. Um, so there you go. Um, if you found this useful, uh, please comment, please uh, subscribe, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. All the very best. Bye.